What up, everybody? This is Andy Mills, and I'm back with some more Death Stranding tips and trick. I'm pretty sure I just found out the fastest way to traverse the land in Death Stranding. At the beginning of Chapter 5, you're at Mama's lab, and she gives you the zipline schematic. And all you need for the zipline schematic is the level 2 PCC, which is not very high in, uh, oops, not very high in material cost. So I'm just going to look it up just to double check. So when you go to fabricate equipment, PCC level 2 is 30 Kyle crystals, easy, excuse me, 64 uh, metal, and then 80 ceramic, I believe, right, or 64 resin, 80 metal, there we go, it was at the bottom, I was trying to guess it, so that's just, and, and there's no additional materials you need to set up the zipline after you buy the PCC itself, so I already have four on my back, and I'm literally scared lining up everywhere from point a to point b that i can see myself going this is one the setup time is super low material cost is super low compared to roads i mean the only thing i can see roads would be beating is if you wanted to ha stockpile a whole bunch of uh a whole loadout inside of one of the trucks the bridges trucks which can literally take so much cargo but if you don't want to account for that and you want to just do speed this is the fastest way I'm going to do a little time trial. I'm going to record on my phone. I'm going to first go up to, from Mama's lab. Let me pull on the map. And I already set up the way. So I'm going to go from Mama's lab all the way to the, the distribution center south of Lake Knot City. And then we're going to take a motorcycle back all the way back to Mama's lab. So there's other things I'm going to be talking about while I'm traversing. So let me get this ready. Assuming... You just took a delivery from Mama's Lab and you want to go back to the distro center. And I'm going to press start now. I'm going to be running. I also have the speed exoskeleton level 3 on. I think that, that's another thing. I think that the speed exoskeleton is so much fun to be on. It, it kind of feels like cheats on... Uh, cheats on like GTA or Saints Row, the newest ones, or yeah, the newest ones like Gat Out of Hell or whatever. And this is what you do literally hop on one, point to the one you want to go to, and then you zip line. You skip over BTs if there's BTs in the air, time fall in the area, or minimizing the damage. And go to the next one that I set up. You just keep going. And you can separate these if you just want to buy the PCC and then set it up or create the PCC and set it up. They, they can be separated by 300 meters. And they can be, I think, leveled up to 600. I'm not sure. I haven't seen what the level up one is. But yeah, they they go further if you level them up, which is with them not a lot of materials. I think it's chemicals, a couple of chemicals and uh, some special aluminum or a special alloy. And look, I'm going over rough terrain. I don't work. I don't have to worry about batteries to my own equipment. I don't have to worry about getting hit by mules or anything like that. I don't have to worry about BTs. I already said that, but I'm just reiterating at this point. And it's very low cost, low time. It's it's amazing. I think like if you just take a little bit of time to run from point A to point B, you can even use a bike to make it even faster at that point. Use a bike on not rough terrain to, uh, to just close the gaps. Sometimes you may have to work with this the placement because you have to make sure this is, it's a straight path between both, which makes sense. I'm gonna land at this point. Still going. The timer's still going. and time so two minutes 31 seconds two minutes oh that doesn't oh yeah that looks right two minutes 31 seconds right there that's going one way all right so now i'm going to do another one where i'm on a motorcycle so i'm assuming that you already have the motorcycle pulled up let's do long range so you don't have to worry about batteries
Now we're just gonna go backwards. Now I have to actually plot the course because I don't know if I want to go through this route. Because this route, you go through a lot of mountains and everything like that. And I actually tried to do this route earlier and I lost my bike around this area. So, uh, let's do this. I'll just capitalize on the road that I have created at this point. Go right here because I know this is safe. Down here and then I'll Try to try to find some way to get over this ridge, and then commute over to Mama's. All right, so I'm gonna act like I just took a mission, and it's something speed. Bring up my stopwatch again, uh, and I'm gonna hit reset. And three, two, one. I'm gonna be running. Oh. oh, I messed that up. That's fine. Box still going. I'm gonna boost the whole way. Utilizing the bridge or the roads that I already created. I'm telling you guys, I think this is the way, like, instead of spending hours trying to make bridges, I think this is the actual most beneficial cost-effective, fastest way, anything, any kind of adjective you want to put in front of that statement. I think this is the way. I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm gonna have to slow down for rough terrain. Okay, ignore the bad driving skills. Go through here. Time fall, close this down a little bit. There's a drop right here, so this is gonna, this is gonna get real uh, spicy. might lose my bike uh, I guess uh, oh no we're good I don't know about you but I I literally get so frustrated when my bike hits rocks or like gets stuck on something and let's boost through here it's kind of flat Oop, like that and here and I, and I, uh, I mean, it's kind of fast still, but this frustrates me right here. I might lose the bike right here from this drop. Yep. Okay. Get up. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. There we go. And now I'm just gonna sprint with the speed boost. I'm sure some of you guys could traverse that better, but it still wouldn't make it any faster because I'm already reaching two minutes and 30 seconds as of right now on my stopwatch. And we would have been there already. So that's that's time right now. I mean, it's, it's already slower. I mean, I did break... I did break the last, or I did break the motorcycle, but that shouldn't really matter at this point. And imagine if this place had BTs, I would have to slow down tremendously. Whereas if I'm on the speed, the zip line, I just ignore them. I just go right over them. For speed's sake, I'll just grab any vehicle that I see. It's so much more work. It's actually, it's more taxing on you at this point. Oh, oh, <laughs> come on, Sam. And time. Almost a whole minute, almost a whole minute added to that, uh, to that whole trip. I mean, you can probably argue it's not the same experiment. You're not going the same direction. I lost the bike. You can do all these kind of explanations, but I mean, maybe when the roads all set up, but then I have to put in hours to put in the materials, find the materials. If it's not at one station, I can take it out of another station. Or if I steal it from a mule place, I put it in a truck, fight off the mules, things like that. 
I guarantee you, if you guys just take the time, stack up your whole bag or your whole backpack with a whole bunch of PCC level two, and just like, just measure out 30 meter or 300 meters, place one, make sure they line up. You can traverse from point A to point B, a distro center to distro center, the fastest, fa faster than anything else. So, I hope you guys like this uh, tip that I or this trick I kind of found out. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new to the uh, to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I also stream on Twitch. The link should be down below. Yeah, thank you. Comment please and give me any feedback that you uh, that you have. Thanks very much, guys. Have a nice one.